Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. We're out here in Cummins, Georgia, and man, I tell you, this is really shaping up to be like a huge, magnificent event, and uh, we've got a lot of barbecue history and an international team. Uh, what's your name? Larry Miller. Okay, how long have you been competing? About 20 years. <laughs> and what's your name? Rich Zabin. And how long have you been competing? Since 1986. Okay, and what's your name? Michael Miller from Atlanta Arena Tavern since 1994. 94. Okay, and what's your name? Yilmaz Aydin. I'm from Turkey. I'm competing for 1983. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you live in the United States now? Or? Yes. Oh, you do? Yes. Do they have any barbecue competitions in Turkey? Yes, sir. Oh, they do? Yes, sir. Wow, barbecues in every, every country in the world. Uh, but, you know, uh, I had to kind of shift to this fella right here now he's got a uh, membership number of 106 109 109 and uh, he's been here since the beginning and uh, tell us a little bit about the history of just telling us that uh, you were here before professional barbecue competition uh, 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 was was in place and uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the history of that oh, we started in Kansas City with Mr. Z's barbecue uh, started the Great uh, Lenexa Barbecue Battle, which is the Kansas State Championship. It's the first uh, barbecue contest that we had ever entered. Uh, didn't know what we were doing. We saw all these pros, all these big smokers out there. We battled through it, all the hot weather, and we kind of dejected. We thought, you know, we were in our over our head. Well, at the end, we were packing up, and they announced Grand Champion, and lo and behold, we won the Grand Championship. So we were pretty much bit with a barbecue bug in the first out. Wow. Now, uh, you, you know, uh, there was a name mentioned of Roth. Uh, you know Mr. Roth? I know Mr. Roth. Mr. Roth works for the same company that I do, Zet Manufacturing. Oh, and how long have you known him? 38 years. Is, is he from Kansas? Yeah. Okay. Well, tell us a story about Mr. Roth. Well, Ed Roth uh, was an associate uh, through Zep, my father. And the year we won the state championship, uh, Ed was out there as a spectator. Like, Thought he could do it also, and he started his own team called Happy Holla Barbecue. He competed uh, for years. He won Kansas City Barbecue Team uh, Team of the Year. He won numerous grand championships. Then he started the Certified Judges Program uh, when he left active competition, and he developed it and kind of helped the uh, barbecue community by making a uniform judging. Wow, man. So, you know, really Kansas City has set the standard for a lot of the different new things. You know, Memphis started it, but Kansas City has taken it a long ways. And he actually started certified judging. That is amazing. Yep. He uh, he started the program. I actually cooked for probably the first 30 or 40 judging classes. My father and I actually did the meet for the classes. <laughs> and so we were there on the ground floor when it when it first started. So it's, it's taken on a, a, a life of its own. Now, did you expect barbecue would get as big as it is now? It's always been big. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's always been big. Never to a competition size like this. But but barbecue is a is a great delicacy all around the world. Well, I, you know, as far as I know, everybody loves it. But I'm talking about now, it's become a TV personality <laughs> and a radio. It's a it's it's a it's an animal unto itself. It's developed into a sport. Uh, people schedule their entire lives around it. Yeah. You see the size of some of these rigs, the money invested in here. <laughs> this is not your average, let's go fire up the Weber in the backyard. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There's some serious dollars out here, some serious egos. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you win a dollar, but that blue ribbon, when they say grand champion, your head kind of gets a little bit big. Yeah. Well, uh, I did four years at uh, Fort Riley, Kansas, in Junction City, and uh, Kansas City Chiefs are still my favorite football team, by the way. I'll let everybody know that. And uh, Chiefs doing pretty good this year, aren't they? Depends on which team shows up. <laughs> okay, so on this week, off this week. Uh, you know, I loved it when they had the 13-3 and three seasons a couple years ago, and uh, I thought they might win the Super Bowl. Uh, I was really hoping they would. But, uh, uh, well, you know, since you've seen such a broad, broad long-range view of barbecue, uh, where do you see it going in the next 10 years? It's going to keep getting bigger. I mean, it's good old fun, and people get out here. Everybody likes to eat, and it's something that never goes out of style. 
Well, looks like we might have a fire truck coming down through here. Uh, well, you want to give a shout out to, to Mr. Ruth or whoever you want? Ed Royth, hi. Have fun. Come down and cook with us. <laughs> Myron. Are you ready for a throwdown, Myron? Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we're uh, brought me down to Kansas City. We're going to let have Georgia have a little taste of Kansas City. So we're ready for it. Well, man, I'll tell you what, world-class event, and I know that the American Royal right now is the biggest one in America, but they can't hold over 400 teams on this venue. We've got 100, uh, uh, every good cross-section from across the United States. There's a lot of champions here in there. Sure is. Uh, there, there's uh, the who's who of barbecue down here, so it's going to be a really good competition. Well, all of them's getting good. I mean, there's a lot of people at every one now that's really good, but... Uh, this one here, you know, I could see for the southeast and eventually becoming one of the number one competitions in the southeast. And, uh, well, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstars with an international team right here in Cummins, Georgia, with a lot of the history, number 106 in membership. Uh, we just uh, are really blessed to, to have these fellows on, and, and we want to wish you a lot of luck and good luck tomorrow. And uh, we'll be there to hopefully see you be the, next, the last name called. There we go. <laughs> All right, moving on. Right. Thanks, man. Tell if you won't. Is the varsity still open? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one of the hottest restaurants in Atlanta, isn't it? Six locations. Been there for like a hundred years. I know when you drive no, down. Mr. Gordy started when he was at Georgia Tech. Um, it was forties. Yeah. You gotta understand. He's talking about he's known people forty years, so he may very well remember the day it was started. <laughs> no, it was started before me. Oh. Well, <laughs> but I knew Mr. Gordy. I know the Gordy family. He was a student at Georgia Tech. 
Oh, really? And he didn't get along with one of his professors, and the guy says, Marty, you'd do better if you're out there selling hot dogs on the street trying to, oh my trying to God. be an engineer. And it pissed Gordy off, so he went out and got one of those hot dog carts, and the next day he was on campus outside the window of the professor selling hot dogs. And so, he, he sold out. He sold out. <laughs> now, have you ever seen the chicken muffin? Uh-oh. -uh. Oh my god. Sure. They're popping fresh. Holy camole. That's a burnt one, but yeah. That's a chicken muffin. Wow, popping that's fresh. fresh. I heard somebody say that uh, Myron does them that way sometimes. I never actually seen one though. Copycat. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, he started in right, 96. Wait, do we need to fill with the rest of these? 85. <laughs> Richard, do we need to fill with the rest of these? Is that going to do it? I'm gonna, I want to do another one. I just want to see the flavor. Okay. And I want another pan. Right, another, oh, another. Let's see if it was dumb luck. Use the same rug across the board, right? What? Use the same rug, right? Freshman is sweeping across the land. Because when the mountains turn blue on every Coors Light can, your beer is as cold as the Rockies. Enjoy refreshment at its peak. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Turn me up. To think young. I'm misunderstood me. I'm saying, would you, would you do a school? Have you ever thought about doing a school? I've done several cooking classes. Oh, have you? Okay. KCBS. People ought to be talking about you. Thank you. <laughs> we got, I got home chickens on the other side. And I think I need to turn on the power to the TV. Larry, turn on the TV. I haven't seen get the TV on in the train. You can push the power button on the bottom. Yeah, that's 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 you know, the SEC is right How about here. How about a radio? Does it have a radio in there? Uh, yes. Got a, the keys should be? Keys in my pocket. Keys in your pocket? Yeah. Give me the key. I can't. No, he's okay, he's not your competition. Out, I'm sorry. Oh, my car! Who's playing, Georgia? My Kentucky. keys are in my car. I think my wife's here. Guys, keep me on track with time. It's 12.45 right now. What time do we have to be here? 55.
ready to run this. Percent of my day, wipe my hand. My blade. hands are all schmaltzy. Somebody's gonna have to close it. Get it in. Yes, sir. Has your grill ever sounded like this? It will with grill grates. We call that the sizzle effect, and it's just one of the many benefits of grill grates. Grill grates sit on top of the existing grid of any grill and deliver beautiful searing, while the sizzle effect delivers more tender and juicier foods. The raised rail design sits over a bottom plate which has holes in it. Juices from grilled foods don't head straight for the flames. They are stopped in the valleys where they sizzle back into the food or separate out as fats and drip through the holes. These fats burn and carbonize on the back of the grill grates, not on your food. The grate tool is part fork and part spatula that reaches between the rails and under the food, making it easy to lift and turn delicate fish, vegetables, and leaner meats. Oh, this tool is just awesome, man. Your reaction is likely to be the same. Grill grates are coated with realies, a porcelain enamel non-stick coating that prevents foods from sticking and cleanup is as simple as warming up the grill grates during preheat and wiping them down with a paper towel. Or clean them in the sink or dishwasher after using marinades, which you can use without fear of flare-ups and charring. Get fired up and fill the grill. Take three. 
three of those to go. Uh, pull the car up. That must be bridge is flat. of struggling with baked on messes? Frustrated trying to clean your countertops? Worried about scratching your glass top stove? Well, not anymore. Introducing the scraper, the one, the only patented durable non-scratching scraper. The scraper will remove virtually any unwanted substance from any smooth surface in seconds without scratching. Grease stuck on that stove top or oven window slides right off with the scraper. Baked on macaroni? How about hardened eggs? No problem with the scraper. Stubborn, dried up lumps of food on your stone or laminated countertops become a thing of the past. And most amazing of all is that the scraper will not break, scratch, or mar your surfaces. The scraper eliminates the need for harsh chemical cleaners. Save money and the environment. Hi, I'm Richard Lambert. I invented the scraper. It's the most indispensable home tool you'll ever own. The scientifically designed scraper is effortless to use. It works as an extension of your hand. The bald end cradles into your palm while your finger guides the sharpened edge. The scraper is made of multiple layers of composite resins, combining to make it virtually unbreakable. In fact, if your scraper ever breaks, just send it back and I'll replace it for free. And the scraper is not just for the kitchen. Stubborn paint splatters on your hardwood floor or windows. Cleaning up after the kids. Not a challenge for the scraper. 
In fact, the scraper will scrape the gunk off your barbecue grill. Use the scraper in extreme hot or cold. Guaranteed not to melt, freeze, or break. And the scraper's not just for home. It's great for work and on the job site, too. Order now and we'll include the Scraper Junior absolutely free. It's perfect for little jobs or when you're out on the go. Call now and we'll include a second set of scrapers absolutely free. Just pay additional shipping and processing. And with every order, we'll include two sheets of silicon-based scraper paper to keep your scraper edge sharp for years. Call now for the best TV offer ever. Get two scrapers, two scraper juniors, and two sheets of scraper paper. This amazing offer is valued at $60 and is yours for the incredible low price of $19.99. This offer is not available in stores. Don't miss out. Call now. This is how you cut a brisket. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's so good. Beautiful, my God. Next one. So I'll Black gloves, stand up filming. Both of them. It's pretty, but it
oil one year. Yeah. <laughs> Improvise and cut out a packet? No. They want beef, they're getting beef. Big chunks of beef. Hunk of chunks. Where's my wife? They must be finding something shiny at the shop. Time? Time is 1.19. What time do we have to be in? 1.30. Get that piece out of there. What? Get that piece out under my knife. Thank you. Sure. charge you for this. You no know shit, that. man. I'm not signing a waiver on this. It's, it's like we got the master if blaster see, over here. If I see this on TV, I'm coming after you. Okay. This is the Arena Tavern. The announcer's gonna come out and say, Well, we thought y'all had a chance, but then there was this guy. <laughs> and his cousins came and he just got off the chain. And, uh, <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> You're mouth to God's ears. <laughs> what time is it? Come to what time is it, Michael? Ball games. The time is. The time is. One twenty-three. You're fine. You're fine. There you go. You're fine. We've been the first one every time. Every time we've been the first one. Okay. Yeah. Don't give me some sauce back over there. Thank you, brother. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Better be back in there. I don't think it's bad, I don't think it's concentration of people in the middle of the competitive box. I'm deadly with a knife. Yeah. I had a guy reach in one time while I was preparing the box. Oh my god, reached in the box. In the box. Holy shit. Jackie, can I move it inside? I don't need it. Okay. I just want to know that I... Just write me a ten thousand dollar check and you just made me lose. That was it. It, it really wasn't the, the loss, it was the worry about the legal bill that I'd have having to defend myself afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Sauce brush? Sauce brush. I've got it. It's not a mystery. It's not a mystery, but there'll be an issue here in that. One twenty five, in case you're wondering. Thank you. I need a damn sauce brush. Rip tray, look in the rip tray. That's nice and warm. Thank you. Was it in the smoker? What are our taste? That's got samples. Maybe after he gets this plan. Okay. That looks good. Michael, time? Time is 126. We're fine. It's just a three minute walk. We've been there every time, but just for a few seconds. Why'd you get up for that? You got until 135? Yeah. This one's been hard. Normally you cut it eighth of an inch uh, thick and just fall apart. Oh, so you have to cut it thick. Thick. That's what you had. You want some hot sauce in there? No. Is that the master at work or is that the master at work? That, does that do voice too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I shouldn't say something. No, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I, I was. My God, he's been doing it long enough. He's, uh, he deserves a little credit. The patience to do it, I, I just don't. I'm learning from the master. Okay, Jose, paint that baby. Me 28. We're fine, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. What you need? Um, walking this with me now people are saying that you think you colder than me
Nice little trick. But those were some important papers. I'm Ice Cube, and nothing's colder than Ice Cube. Did you just snow on me? Ice Cube is cold, but Coors Light is super cold. I hope you got a mop in that bucket. Frost Brew Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. 